So obviously, like within the show, we have a complex relationship between Kate and Jeanette. What did you uh, think of our relationship off screen out of curiosity? Do we get along? Ugh. Ugh. This is a hard one. I know. I'm so sorry. (laughs) Of course. I love you. I remember we did a little social distancing hang in LA before we left to Dallas to start filming the first season. We just clicked. We just got along so well the second that we started shooting. And obviously our schedules were so vastly different that we barely saw each other, but living next to you was a bonus. And it's so weird when we're actually shooting on screen because our relationship with our characters is so complicated and so different from our relationship in real life. But it's like fun to like tap into those places and create a whole new relationship within the relationship that we have in real life. 100%. So obviously the show takes place through a timeline of three different years in the 90s. All of the characters go through a little bit of different versions of themselves. And I wanna know what was your favorite, most compelling version of Jeanette to play? Honestly, the beauty of our show is that I don't have a favorite. It's incredible to play 93, 94, and 95. And I think that all of them perfectly balance out one another. And I think that if it was 95 every day all the time, I think I would you know, not enjoy that as much as I do having the opportunity to tap into such drastically different parts of myself and drastically different parts of the character. And I think that's what makes it so amazing. That's a really good answer. I absolutely agree. I think I've always just felt like playing 95 Kate is the most fun and adventurous because she's just this rebellious, angsty teenage girl. We just see her in a different light. I feel like there's elements of 93 and 94 Kate that are very similar, but 95 Kate is just a whole new ball game. For sure. I want to like live in that world in my real life. I remember life. the first time I saw you in 95 and I was like, oh my God. Everybody has that reaction. There were people on set who didn't even recognize me. When did you personally find out what uh, the final reveal was going to be? As far as like the thing, the thing, the big thing, I found out while we were shooting, it took me a minute to process everything. Like, I don't think I actually had a legitimate reaction because I was like, Oh, because it's a lot to like know like the ending of a story that you've been living for the last six months. I found out sooner than I think everyone thought I found out. Well, you Um, had theories the whole time when we were shooting 102, which was like a week into filming. You already had a theory, which is bananas. (laughs) You saw me, I walked up to you and you were sitting at the chairs and I go, I know something. And you were like, no, you don't. And I was like, I know something. Like, we're only a week into filming. You can't know anything. (laughs) But it was a hybrid of what I ended up thinking. And I was so shocked and mesmerized and excited. And I think that the audience is really going to enjoy it. It's such a satisfying ending, in my opinion. So we both moved to LA at a pretty young age to pursue our dreams of being actors. What did you see your career looking like at that age? I couldn't have possibly imagined where I am in my career today. You know, as a young actress and a young woman, like I think that we all aspire to create an environment and a space where we feel comfortable and safe to do what we love and feel happy and enjoy our lives so much. And I am so grateful I mean, as an actress, but also as a human, that I'm able to work on shows where I connect and I've developed relationships with, you know, friends and my family now at this point, as you guys are, as well as the opportunity to grow and learn as an actress. And, you know, even just working with you and the rest of the cast in the scenes that we shared together, like I'm constantly learning and growing. And I think that's really exciting and amazing. I feel lucky to be playing such a complicated female role as a young woman in Hollywood today. And I'm grateful for that. You're 100% right. I could have never imagined this life. (laughs) Like there's just no way. And I don't think I ever could have imagined working on projects that were so female driven. I don't think at that age it was ever really discussed. Like we didn't ever talk about projects that had women as leads and had a narrative that was directed towards women and their relationships with each other. And I don't think in my wildest dreams I could have ever imagined being a part of a project that is filled with women that are like just leaders, you being one of them. And I think it's just so special and just so 
it's surreal. It's surreal every day. I'm like, this is the coolest job because I get to tell stories that I'm passionate about, but also work with women who are incredible at what they do and so brilliant. And we get to tell the story through two female eyes, four, four eyes. Four oh, eyes. <laughs> we only there's... have two eyes between the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that young viewers will take away or resonate with our show? As dark and twisty and complicated as our show may be, I think that there are elements of everything that happens with every character that are so relatable to people around our age. I mean, even for myself, you know, as, you know, I'm newly 18, I think that, you know, these experiences, though they may be, you know, in a larger scale than, you know, some high schoolers, it's a normal experience to want to feel popular, to want to feel special, to want to, you know, exit this dorky stage, to feel depressed, to feel sad, to be going through, you know, incredible challenges and to change so much to the point where you may not even recognize yourself in your high school years. And I think that experience is had between, you know, all of the characters and all elements of the show. I hope that people are able to watch it and see that there's a lot of different people and a lot of different personalities. And, you know, something that I found really special was that, you know, reading Jeanette in 93, you might not necessarily, I don't want to say like her, but you know, you're like, oh, okay, let's get to 94, let's get to 94. But working with the crew, I think most people were like, why didn't she like herself when she was like that? That was the best version of her that she could have been. And she mm -hmm. was only tainted from there, even yeah. though she technically fit in further. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I mean, you nailed it. It's interesting, like the way that our show has really separated itself from so many other shows. It's just so unique. It's so important to know that teenagers aren't alone in this world. And I think that we sometimes get lost in our own thoughts and we get in our head and we forget who we are at the core. And maybe we are still trying to figure out who we are at the core. I mean, I'm 23 and I'm still trying to figure it out. But to know that you're not alone and to know that you have safe spaces to go to and people who are willing to listen and willing to hear you out. I think that's what really separates this show. It's so just so grounded in that way. And I think a lot of viewers are gonna look at this and, and really resonate with that time in their life that they were experiencing that. Or if they're going through that, then they can watch it and be like, oh my God, I am 93 Jeanette or I am 95 Kate. Like, I think that's what's so unique about our show.